So in my quest to kind of uh, work more with my cell phone and my kind of smaller cameras, um, I ordered this uh, microphone, uh, which will attach kind of lav mic um, directly to my phone. So it's a wireless uh, lav mic. Uh, so we're gonna dive right in here and have a look, get it set up um, and do a little field test um, of how the mic works outside. So if we just get this out of the Amazon box. So it's the Comica CVM WS50B. And basically you can see here that we have an attachment for the cell phone, kind of my iPhone, uh, and then the, the kind of wireless element to it here as well. So basically uh, we're gonna get this opened up and have a little look at it, and then very quickly kind of do a little field test uh, with it to see the quality of the audio is that we get. So it's basically should have six channels. It works up to 60 meters away from your phone in an open area uh, and 30 meters in a barriered area. We've got this nice little bag for storing everything uh, inside. And we've got um, a headphone socket uh, for monitoring the audio that's coming through uh, the CVM WS50. Um, and so we'll just kind of get this set up and have a look as we go. This bag is definitely handy uh, for kind of moving uh, things around. I ordered the version with uh, handle uh, rather than the tripod stand because I've already got a couple of uh, tripods and the nice thing about this is it's got a regular uh, kind of tripod mount on the bottom so you can screw it onto any tripod stand which is super handy. This is the part which will hook onto your phone so it's got like a little screw here and these little clips will come out and we can kind of extend it out uh, and kind of clip it onto the iPhone and then it will just drop into the headphone socket. Now one important note is if you're working with an iPhone, you will need to have the connector uh, for this as well. So you'll need that to actually connect it to your iPhone uh, through the kind of mini jack headphone socket. So we have in here uh, the radio mic, which is what's gonna clip onto someone. So we've got kind of both ends of this. And then we also have some different kind of mic stuff in here too. So we have the lav mic uh, to clip on um, and we also have I believe a windshield uh, in here as well for when you are outside and as it is often in here uh, windy Saskatchewan uh, you need to kind of uh, get rid of some of that wind noise and this will just clip on top of the lav mic so basically we've got this mini dead cat uh, for popping on top of our microphone to reduce that wind noise then we have uh, the connector for the phone in here and some chargers. There's only one charging cable, but there are two things here to charge. So we'll see uh, if these are charged up at all. So let's try the, the power button on this. Oh, we have some charge. It looks like the battery is full. And as per normal, like when you're turning these on, you hold them down for five seconds to toggle them on and off. And that just means you can't accidentally kind of hit it off or not. So it's uh, a mute button but it won't actually turn it off. Now in here, we should be able to plug in our mic. So that's our mic line in there. And once that's in there, testing, testing. Yeah, we're getting some sound through there straight away. And now we'll have a little look at uh, how it kind of clips onto the iPhone. So basically um, with this, uh, obviously you want to keep the mic away from your camera. So we'll just kind of keep that off to the left. And also one useful thing to know as well, uh, my lens often gets really dirty on my iPhone, so giving your lens a clean before you actually do any filming is also a, a good idea. So let's have a look at this. We'll just stretch this out and clip this onto the phone to the kind of opposite side of the camera. Okay. The build quality of this seems pretty good. Um, I'm sure it's not gonna last for 10 years <laughs> with the usage that I will definitely get out of it. And then this um, can screw onto a regular tripod head um, as well. So we can pop this onto a tripod or um, we can screw it onto this little handheld device here, which will be way more stable than kind of holding it manually. So we've got that set up there and now let's see how well this connects. So we've got a gray end and a black end. All right, so it's actually got a note on here saying the gray end here is for the smartphone. So that's what's gonna go in here. So without the instructions, we know which end is gonna go in there. So let's have a look at the sound we get out of here. 
This is plugging into there. Got headphone socket down at the bottom there. It says output there, but it actually means input. We've got our mic set up. And if we come into our camera here now, so let's just angle this so we can see what we're doing. So we'll come into the camera and into the video and it doesn't tell me I'm using my mic, but I can probably do a quick test. So with the video here, testing, 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 testing. Okay, let's see if that plays back. Testing, 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 testing. That definitely sounds like it's coming from the microphone. So we are recording uh, from the mic. There were some instructions for kind of connecting these two as well. So we've got the set button for channel selection, uh, on, off, so we can change the channel here. Uh, we've got the working status input selector, and then we have volume control at the top. Now I'm not sure if that's volume for levels or if it's just kind of automatic uh, levels for this. So if we turn the volume right down, testing, testing, yeah. So this is a, this is a levels control uh, in here for monitoring the, the sound. Um, so I've got the mic super far away from me, so testing, 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 testing. So basically, we're controlling the levels there as well, and we've got a headphone socket too, so we can kind of monitor that sound, although I'm not going to be monitoring anything because it's going to be on a tripod uh, when I test this out. So I'm just kind of doing a quick eyeball test now. Uh, we're going to go outside uh, and test this out, so I'm going to stick my fluffy cat onto it. I've got a couple of other lab mics for use with my uh, Canon XA20 um, and they definitely uh, have smaller kind of dead cat setups than this but we'll see. It's always more important to have better quality sound uh, than to kind of worry about appearances sometimes. Now as I said before I've got other tripods um, so I've got this kind of little tripod uh, that we can use uh, that what I'm going to set this up on now. So basically uh, my camera can go directly on top of this or um, it can basically uh, screw on top of that. So we're going to jump outside and have a look at how this sets up. Okay so we've come outside to test the lav mic uh, just to see how well it functions with the wind and also at distance. Um, so I've got my little camera here you can see everything's kind of nicely set up on the, the tripod and uh, yeah we're just gonna do a little distance test to see how it works so okay so we're kind of like 10-15 feet away from the, the camera now and uh, seeing how the you know sound is um, and hopefully uh, it's pretty good so we'll just step away a little more and we're just gonna walk away and then walk back to the camera and uh, see how well the sound comes out so so we're just walking towards the the camera uh, so the lav mic uh, receiver is plugged into my iPhone um, as we're walking kind of close towards the camera. Um, it's a kind of breezy day, windy day, and um, so hopefully the, the kind of windshield is working well to kind of remove some of that wind. Um, yeah, and I'm excited to see how well the, the audio works, how well the quality kind of comes out. Uh, you can kind of hear the quality of my voice on the uh, camera that I'm holding next to my voice, um, and hopefully we'll kind of see some of the difference uh, between the built-in camera on my phone and the lav mic on my iPhone. There we go, and the test is over. So overall from the sound test I did outside, I was really happy uh, with the way the windshield worked and the kind of general quality um, of the sound compared to the, the sound on my RX 105. So there's definitely a couple of thoughts I have with this wireless sound recording. So the first is that when I'm recording with my Canon XA20 uh, with the wireless lav mic, um, it is handy to be able to change the batteries, not to rely on having to charge it up from the USB. So although the USB charger is a really convenient way of charging up the transmitter and the receiver, I definitely like being able to swap out the batteries, especially if you're on a professional shoot and you don't have time to recharge stuff. Having said that, um, if you're on the road and you only have your cell phone uh, to work with to record sound, 
or you are recording with a camera like the RX105 which doesn't have an audio input and you need to use your cell phone to record that higher quality sound and then sync things up later uh, this would be a really useful piece of kit to use so overall I'm really happy with the quality and I'll definitely be using this when I'm traveling or trying to record sound um, using my RX105 where I kind of need that high quality sound uh, recorded from a lav mic or something like that so this setup definitely gets a thumbs up from me and I'll be testing it out more as I kind of use it on different projects but if you have any questions um, about this this at uh, the point I kind of post this video or later on then please do leave them in the comments below um, otherwise I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial or review